I'm Greg Trasic with WebH Solutions. I'm here to talk to you about our video series, TOGAF 9.1 Foundation Training Level 1. In a minute, I'll step through the course curriculum and learning goals. But first, let me tell you a little bit about WebH. We've been training people in Fortune 500 companies and all levels of government since 1999. Although we started out with Java and other development topics, we've been leaders in enterprise architecture for several years now. We've trained over a thousand architects in enterprise architecture, solution architecture, TOGAF, and business architecture, and we've delivered over a hundred TOGAF courses live. Essentially, what we do is learn new technologies and techniques ourselves, and then translate that learning into a condensed package that you as a busy professional can make use of right away. In this video series, my colleague, Dr. Adrian Rossi, is going to introduce you to the Open Group's TOGAF 9.1 standard for enterprise architecture. Dr. Rossi is an experienced enterprise architect himself, and he's presenting topics from WebAge's extensive course library. Let's talk about that library a bit. As a full commercial TOGAF licensee, we're authorized to deliver TOGAF training using the official TOGAF materials. But we also go beyond the official materials to make the concepts relevant to real business situations and to reflect our experiences creating architectures. Now the course. First, this course is for you if you want an introduction to TOGAF. Perhaps your employer is using TOGAF or considering it. Perhaps you're looking to further your career by becoming TOGAF certified. This course is not for you if you're looking for specific software or hardware architecture training. We're not discussing service-oriented architecture, solution architecture styles, or design patterns in this course. But keep an eye out for further offerings from us. This course is specifically about the Open Group architectural framework. We'll start the course with an overview of the TOGAF standard and the certification requirements. Then run down the components of TOGAF, before introducing the Architecture Development Method, or ADM. Then, we'll discuss some core concepts of TOGAF, including the Enterprise Continuum, the Architecture Repository, and the Architecture Content Framework. After that, we'll focus on general architectural techniques, like stakeholder management and business scenarios. The next two modules hone in on techniques used in the architecture development method. TOGAF includes two optional but useful technical reference models, the TRM and the I3RM. We have a module devoted to each of these. In the last section of the course, we'll step through each phase of the ADM and highlight the critical goals and outputs of each phase. Our goal here is to introduce the concepts of TOGAF and put them into an organizational context for you. After the course, you'll be primed to read and understand the TOGAF standard and properly prepare yourself for the certification exam. All right, I'm gonna pass you over to Adrian. Enjoy the course.